Hey guys, Dan King here, as regular fans of my channel will know. Apologies in advance for the picture quality on this video. The camera I wanted to record this with decided that it couldn't be bothered to record properly today. So, to coincide with today being the release of Batman Gotham Central number one in the UK, I decided it would make perfect sense for today's video to be focusing on Gotham City, the home of Batman. Kind of, except that he lives in Wayne Ma Manor. And, again, kind of, considering how, fun fact, Gotham City was not the original home of Batman in DC Comics. In fact, it wasn't until Batman issue 4 that it was stated that Gotham City was the city he was protecting and fighting crime in. So you're probably wondering, where was he before that? Well, throughout his initial Detective Comics run and his first three issues in Batman, he was stated several times to be operating out of New York City. You're probably thinking, WHAT? No, that's too cliché. Clearly the writers thought so too, uh, when they decided they would go back and name their city after a jewellery store. Though, thinking about it, I would have quite liked to have seen Batman in New York if Batman were printed by Marvel and not DC, because then we could have had Batman teaming up with Spider-Man and it would have been awesome. But anyway, that's not what I'm talking about today. Today, I'm going to be bringing up the various mayors of Gotham City. There have been so many mayors, and I do not have time to talk about them, since this video is supposed to be 15 seconds long, and that's way past now, so you can just take whatever clip from this you want, Scott and Ice Wonder. So anyway, the most popular mayor of Gotham City is of course Hamilton Hill, the mayor of Gotham City that fans of Batman the Animated Series will know. Now in Batman the Animated Series, Hill was presented as a respectable, um, honourable man who started off kind of critical of Batman and not really being a fan of him, and later became quite an ally of the Bat family and was long associated with uh, Commissioner Gordon. But he was not like this in his original DC Comics appearances, sadly enough. Uh, we may love the version of Hamilton Hill we got, and even in Batman Beyond, the animated series, they named the high school after him, but the original Hamilton Hill was kind of a complete ass. He was corrupt and really not a very nice character. Uh, so, again, a lot of people, myself included, are very glad about this change. But, Hamilton Hill was later adapted again into Young Justice, where he was portrayed a little more accurately as a really quite awful human being and a trophy hunter. Um, but we didn't get to see much of him, thankfully. Um, now, as I said, Gotham has just had so many mares, there's a whole Wikipedia article on the list of mayors of Gotham City. It's flat out nuts. Now, while I'm honestly not sure who the current mayor of Gotham City is in the mainstream continuity, I mean, I know you can see there's a, a box of comics here and a box of comics here. I read quite a lot, but um, I didn't get into the DC's New 52 until relatively recently. So, I honestly can't tell you who the current mayor is in the mainstream continuity, but the mayor in Batman Beyond is none other than Luke Fox. You're thinking, hmm, that name rings familiar. Well, it should, because Luke Fox, as we see in this series, is the son of Lucius Fox. Oh yeah, Morgan Freeman's son is mayor of Gotham City. But there is another mayor I want to talk to you about, and this mayor is probably going to be the scene that ends up as the 15 second clip, because Marion Grange, you know Marion Grange, don't you? If you watched The Batman, duh, you know, the absolutely awesome series from 2004, um, you would know that the mayor in that was Marion Grange, but the kind of friendly old man voiced by the amazing Adam West. Now, Marion Grange, as we saw in that show, was clearly an old man. But Marion Grange was not always an old man. Before her adaptation, <laughs> yes, 
her adaptation in yeah, Batman in the Batman 2004, Marion Grange was in fact a woman. Let that sink in. Adam West voiced a lady. Anyway, uh, that's been my competition entry. I better stop throwing this comic before I damage it. And thank you for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, and stuff. Cheerio!